Jessica here. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So I am so sorry I have not released any new videos in about three days. I so apologize for that. Um, I have been promising, you know, new Space Engineers videos every day, and I do totally intend uh, to deliver videos. However, I was incredibly busy and was not able to go ahead and continue with those videos every day. Um, now, in this episode, what I want to go ahead and do is start putting down some storage containers on this bottom basement level. I think that's going to be a good place to put a lot of, or pretty much to put most of our storage. That's what I want to do. Um, and also, we need to go mining. So, let's go ahead and find our storage containers that we want to use. I do not want to use the standard, boring, old, you know default storage containers. I want to use some modified ones. So I'm just kind of looking through here and trying to find some. Also, since my last video, there has been a new update and part of that update uh, released these uh, reloadable rocket launchers. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Also, uh, this, this fighter cockpit that used to be a mod is actually now been integrated into the actual game itself so congratulations to uh, Darth Biomech I believe his name is he designed that mod and it actually was good enough to make it into the game um, okay so let's find our containers that we want to use I have so much stuff in here that sometimes it can be difficult to locate certain items uh, what is this I think this is the I think this is a storage container of some sort. Ah, but this is a large one. Okay, so let's take a look at what this one looks like and what this one looks like. These are part of the uh, used equipment sales modification, which I actually really enjoy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this one looks like first. Okay, um, let's go into third person. Whoa, we're really far zoomed out there. Okay. So basically, we can have containers that look like this. And I guess this is basically the equivalent of a small container. And it appears to have a conveyor built into the back side of it. Which is kind of interesting. Or we can go with the larger one. This is huge. Oh my gosh, this is actually massive. Can I even, can I even place this? I don't even know if I can place it. It's so big! Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's so huge! Okay, so this could be a little bit of a challenge to even like properly find a place to put it. But that could be kind of cool. I mean, it is it is pretty neat. Yeah, this could be a real, a real chore here. I'm trying to find the front side. I don't even know which side is the front because it won't really let me look. Okay, so that's the front side there. That's the back side, clearly. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pop these down. I think we'll go about... Well, I think we should probably go probably to the end. Seems to make sense to me. We'll start there, and we'll just kind of build a row of these and see what we end up with. If, if the game will let us. I mean, this is kind of a challenge. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and continue trying to get this in here. Okay, and ooh, it's not really even though, is it? Huh. Okay then. Let's go ahead and take that one out. And that one as well. And maybe we don't need that many of them. I bet you because they're so large, they probably store like an absolute ton of materials. So, let's just put two of them in here for now. Start with just two. And if it fills up, then I suppose we can always come back later and work something out to add to add more in. But I highly doubt we're going to fill these up. And then I also want to put one here. Oh, I guess I can actually put three in here, right? So, if, can I get this one in the middle? Please? Oh gosh, it wants to be so difficult. Okay, we have to cut this one out. 
and then place this one in. If we were in creative mode, this would just be so much easier. And it won't let me put it there. I'm not fully understanding why. Oh, now it won't let me put one anywhere. Okay, what is going on here? Why can't I even... Okay, I can put one there. I can put one there. I can put one there. And now it'll let me put it there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's just acting kind of strange. And now it won't let me put one there. See, I don't understand. Okay, now it will let me put one there. Okay, it's just being really, really finicky, I guess. Okay. I have no idea what these things cost. Um... We need more interior plates, construction... Let's go back into first-person mode, too, now that we're done with that. Okay, so we need interior plate, construction components. That's that's it. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we have the resources to dump into some of these other ones. And we do. Okay, we'll also need display and small steel tube as well. Okay, let's go ahead and... We needed construction components, interior plates, um, a display. I don't even know if we have any of those. We might actually have to start making some stuff. Which reminds me, we're definitely going to have to go mining as well. Okay, we need... We also need small steel tubes as well. So, okay, I don't see, I don't see any of this stuff in here. Let's hide the empty ones. Start from the top again. Display anywhere? No, no displays at all. What are the small steel tubes? Do we have any of those? Those are girders. Uh, those are more girders. Steel plates, steel plates. Um, small steel tubes and girders, or, and displays, I guess, we need to, to make. So let's order up, like... I don't know, a thousand small steel tubes? Probably more than that, actually. We'll go with... We'll just have this one just pumping them out. Let's get like 5,000 small steel tube. Oh, trust me, we will we will end up using all of it. <laughs> Quicker than you know it. And then let's go to assembler number two, and let's tell it to make, I don't know, a hundred displays? Do we have enough materials? Yeah, we've got plenty. We can actually make like, I don't know, 500 displays. That should hold us over for a little while. Alright, and let's go back up here to the top and let's grab our small steel tubes and then let's go ahead and grab a display. So let's put down these reactor components and grab a display. Just one. That's all we need. Or no, no, we need three. Or no, just one? I think it's just one. Is It is just one, isn't it? Okay, let's try to see if we have enough stuff. We can definitely finish this one. Oh, we've got a little uh, LCD, like, touchscreen type interface. Which is kind of weird, right? Because it's like this totally crappy, like, rusty storage container with a touchscreen interface. And we need more interior plate. That's fine. We'll go get some more. And more construction components as well. Okay. Not a problem. There's some more construction components. And do we have interior plate? I hope we do. I'm pretty sure we have some. Uh, there's some more construction components. Let's get like 50 of those. Ah, there's the interior plate. However, I don't think that's enough. Okay, let's go to a summer assembler assembler number three and tell it to make like oh i don't know a couple thousand i mean it doesn't take that much iron to make and we have a ton of iron in there don't we you know i was thinking we were gonna have to do some mining in this episode but maybe we have enough stuff to hold us over although we can't really make any solar cells or Interesting. Well, we probably still need to go do some mining regardless. 
Otherwise, I mean, eventually we will run out of stuff. And I'm just trying to find our interior plate. There it is. Just grab as much of that as we can carry, and then let's go ahead and try to finish these off. And I want to say again, I am so sorry that I did not release any videos in the past couple of days. I've just been incredibly busy with, you know, personal life stuff. I can't always... Um, you know, sit down at the computer for enough time to be able to record an episode and all that. So, I do apologize that I've been promising, you know, videos every single day, but that wasn't really as feasible as I thought it was. And I also, that also brings me to mention, I want your guys' opinion on this, um, because I've kind of been, like, battling it with myself. Should I be recording, should I be releasing videos every day? Or should I try to, you know, only release videos maybe once every two or three days, but spend more time editing the footage? You know, cutting parts out, adding in, um, and while we're talking, we're just going to go fly out here to this military escort. I want to kind of test this ship out. We never really got a chance to do that. But we should probably save our game before we go get ourselves killed. So yeah, I, I can start, like releasing videos maybe once every two and three days and actually spend more time editing my videos to make them a little bit more interesting you know i can utilize more role play elements more storyline um you know i can do all that stuff but those things take a long time to actually do so when i'm trying to record videos and release them every day i don't really get the couple of hours that i want to be able to sit down and play around with the video so if you guys are okay with videos maybe once every two or three days then I will do that and I will make the videos much more exciting um, or at least I'll try to make them much more exciting so leave me your opinion on that in the comment section below I would love to hear what you have to say I know some of you are probably thinking no I just want to see space engineers every day I do not care you know if you're editing the footage or not some people prefer if, you know to watch unedited footage of games and I can totally respect that but I know there's probably some of you out there who really want better quality less quantity and we're gonna get shot at oh shoot oh shoot that really did it quickly okay let's go ahead and respawn and then let's go ahead and load the game I think that's probably the best way because we just lost that ship. I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to be that screwed, do we? I mean, come on. Oh, code gracious. Downloading mods. Please wait. I totally forgot that that's like a thing that happens. It has to download mods every time you try to load your game. Right then. I did not expect that it would take this long. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, it still has to load, though, you know, so we have to sit here and... Uh, scientific laws are strongly supported by empirical evidence. They are scientific knowledge that experiments have repeatedly verified and never falsified. Wikipedia 2077. <laughs> Interesting. I have to say, I really do like some of the things that they put in the loading screens. Well, that was an epic failure. That is a massive, massive ship. There is absolutely no way <laughs> that we can even do any kind of damage to it. I mean, did you see how absolutely massive that ship was? It was ridiculous. So I have no intention of trying to pull that off again. But at least we got to go out and test the, the machine guns, I guess. We didn't really get to test the rockets, because as soon as I fired the rockets, our ship blew up. But I suppose we could kind of test them here. We could just fire a rocket. If you guys have never seen the rockets in this game, I mean, you can do damage to asteroids and... I mean, yeah, we are depleting our own resources by just, you know, target practice, basically. But, I don't know, it's kind of cool. And this, this ship only has the one rocket launcher, so it's not very... You know, it's not a very powerful... Um, attack fighter, but I mean, it's just really lightweight, really quick and nimble, you know, intercept type ship, I think is what its main purpose 
probably was when it was in the Securito Defense Services. Yeah, nothing fancy, just the one rocket launcher, the four machine guns. A good amount of thrust. Definitely a good amount of thrust. All right, let's go ahead and hop out of there. And let's see, we need to figure out how it is that we're going to connect these storage containers to this row of uh, assemblers and refineries. It's definitely something we need to do. And I also think I'm probably going to end up changing some of this. Well, maybe not. I'm not 100% certain that I want to keep this here the exact way it is. So, kind of battling with that a little bit. I wonder if it wouldn't be a good idea to maybe move some of this uh, move some of the refineries and assemblers down here. Maybe move these storage containers a little bit. I'm not too sure how I want to proceed with that. We'll have to leave that for um, a future episode. But I think for now we should probably go ahead and start trying to finish up some of our glass here. And I don't know about you, but I'm not really hearing any of the game audio. Go ahead and try turning that up a little bit. I'm not hearing the welder or any of the welding stuff happening. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. There's definitely some kind of audio glitch. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some bulletproof glass. Let's get rid of let's get rid of all this other stuff that we're carrying that we don't really need for right now. I just want to be able to finish up that elevator shaft. Is that all the bulletproof glass we have? Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's incredibly unfortunate. Hopefully we have enough silicon to be able to... Well, that's not very many. Hold on, let's see. Oh, there's... No, there's tons of silicon. Okay. Let's make several thousands of these as well. I have a feeling we lost some resources, because I, or not resources, but items, because I could have swore we had a lot more. <laughs> I could have swore. I could be wrong. It has been a couple of days since I've been able to sit down with the game, so that's always a possibility. Some iron stuck in there. We'll stick that in an arc furnace, if I can find an arc furnace. I'm not even seeing the arc furnace coming up. Now that's interesting. Oh, there they all are. Okay. <laughs> Here I am thinking, oh, the arc furnace has disappeared. Look how fast it just goes through that iron. That's incredible. But yeah, we have tons and tons of resources just sitting around still, so... I think we're okay on resources for the time being. Okay, did we produce any of that bulletproof glass yet? I want to see if I can grab some of it. There it is. Okay. Is that all we can carry? I think that is all we can carry. Okay, let's go ahead and start plugging that into the shaft here. All right. I really wish I knew... Oh, we need more girders. Okay. I really wish I knew why the game audio isn't really working properly right now. It's kind of frustrating. You know, it's, it seems like I have all these audio problems all of the time, and I don't understand why. Like, I really don't. I don't have a complicated audio setup at all. I mean, it is just a very basic setup, so it just, there's like, shouldn't be any like complications, you know? It's really weird. I don't understand. All right, well, I think we're going to have enough to be able to finish this off. Yes, indeed. Okay. And then let's see. We're going to need to be able to finish these as well. So we're going to need a whole lot of steel plate. Oops, 
excuse me. I had like a little hiccup in there. And then I think we also want to finish these off as well. Let's go ahead and stick in our girders. And there doesn't appear to be one there. Okay, this is a flat inverted. So, number six. Okay. Um, oh, we gotta rotate it around. Wait, no, that's much too large. That is much, much too large. This is what we want. Uh, right there. That should be it. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab some bulletproof glass. As we float down to the bottom here. <laughs> I gotta squeeze out the door. And hold on. Well, before I grab the bulletproof glass, let me go ahead and stick my girders into these outside windows as well. And we're a little bit short on the girders. But not by not by too many. Whoa, that was really, really loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Holy cow. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some issues going on with this game audio. Let me go ahead and put that back down to that level there. I am not sure what's going on. That was incredible. Hopefully that did not startle any of you. Okay, let's get some girders. And then let's get some bulletproof glass. And I'm supposed to be able to... Search for items by name now. Ah! There's some bulletproof glass that hiding somewhere. I don't think I saw those earlier. Okay. We'll just fill up on bulletproof glass. And let's come over here and start welding these. Yes, part of the update that they just released a couple of days ago gives you the option of searching for items by name now. Which I really, really think is great. Because before you had to only search, you know, per container. Now you can search by the name of the actual item. Let's see if we can get this door to open. And then let's go ahead and start welding these. I don't like that it alerts the door when I'm above it. I'm going to have to try to change that in the settings on that thing. I'm not a fan of that at all. I still have not had an opportunity to play around with the sensors. It's like, they keep releasing new updates, and I just do not have enough time to keep up with everything that they're releasing as quickly as they're doing it. Okay, we need to go get steel plate. Oh, uh, no, you shut the door on me. Okay. Ah! Uh, no! Open the door! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, those automatic doors are such a pain in the neck for me, I swear. It is... I I don't know, I just don't seem to be able to understand how the sensors work. And like I said, I have not had enough time to play around with them. And There appears to be a pretty decent learning curve on them. Which isn't really what I would expect. I mean, everything else in this game is like so simple and straightforward that, you know, it just uh, makes absolute sense. Those sensors, to me, do not make sense. And it could just be that I haven't, you know, played around with them enough. That's why I don't understand them. But, yeah, as it stands currently right now, I just do not get it. Okay, let's just go ahead and finish off these blocks here, and then those will be finished. I kind of wish we had went with a little bit different style of block but I think that's fine you know this is just this is really you know season one we're only really you know just a little bit into season one and I plan to continue sp doing space engineers for a long time so I actually feel like it's appropriate for us to be using mostly the uh, stock parts at least at this point in the series um, Simply because if I start out using everything mod, 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 then those of you who haven't 
uh, really played Space Engineers before. Um, are just kind of, I don't know, I feel I feel like it's a little, it's it just feels a little weird, you know? I don't really know how to put it, but it just feels a little weird. So, if you are expecting to see me, you know, use all of the mods that I have downloaded, I will be using them. But just not, not like, you know, right away, not, not just this soon. It's a little too early to be using all those mods super, super heavy. Also, the game does not really run very well when you use a lot of mods. I mean, let's be honest about that. The game is not optimized. It is still an alpha development. They're still constantly changing things. And it constantly does not work pro uh, properly. Also, I want to make this uh, glass. And I don't know why I put blocks there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put in some glass here as well. Uh, how do I want to do this? I probably should do it kind of similar. Oh, we need to charge our suit. Oh my goodness, we are almost out of energy. No, I need the door to open really badly. Door open, please. Thank you. No, door open. Door open. No, door open. Door open. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Those automatic doors are going to be the death of me. We nearly ran out of suit energy because of those automatic doors. So frustrating. So frustrating. But yeah, now you guys kind of know my opinion on things and where things stand. And I really, really hope that you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know I've been having a ton of fun with it. I've been having a ton of fun making it. I have lots of fun, you know, creating the storyline and doing all the voice acting and everything like that. I'm just one person. I do everything myself, you know. So, yeah, it's a lot of work. But it's also really, really fun. And I enjoy it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I, I want to look at this one again. How did we do this one? Well, how did we do this one? Because I don't feel like this is set up properly either. Huh. Okay, let me go ahead and take out this piece here, and this piece here, and this piece here. And the reason, oh yeah, and these as well. The reason is, is we're going to put glass in there. I just think it would look better if, if it was, you know, a window. Okay, uh, ooh, it will not allow me to put that there. Oh, because I don't have any girders. Okay, well that makes sense. Okay, remember, wait for the door to open all the way and then fly through it. Okay. Let's get some girders. There's 86 of them. I don't know if... Well, that'll have to be enough for now. Ah! I let it open all the way, but then... I don't know. It's, it's really finicky. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and try to put that there and it does let us but it's the wrong one of course it is uh let's see let's go to this menu here let's go pop this in there and get this rotated around the right way half of this game is rotating objects oh my gosh no that's not the proper way there we go but now you're not there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, that takes way too much effort. Wait, that's not right though. Ah, uh, no, we did it wrong. We did do it wrong. Should I just make it like that style door? I don't know. I don't know. I think I will. Just for the sake of un uniformity. Just for the sake of uniformity. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and cut all this stuff out. And I'm so sorry about my little sniffle there. That was really not something I, I normally do. Okay, let's go ahead and pop in our door. And I'm going to also be looking on 
the Steam Workshop after this episode and see if there's any new uh, doors that I can download. I'm sure there are. I'm sure I've just, you know, been missing out on all kinds of really cool doors. So I'm going to be checking that out. And hopefully in the next episode we'll have a better door that we can put in. And let's go ahead and make sure I have this put in the proper way. Well, we'll have to put in our girders first, I guess, and then we'll go get some bulletproof glass. And the door is going to shut on my face, so we're going to have to open the door manually, and then we're going to have to fly through it. There we go. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and look for our bulletproof glass, and there it is. Let's grab a bunch of that and come back over here. Let the door open run through the door. There we go. Okay. Let's come up here and make sure this is rotated the right way around. And indeed it is. Excellent. Very, very good. So, I don't know if this is, you know, like I said, the door that I'm going to end up going with in the end. Although, we're a little bit short on small steel tubes and displays. Let's go ahead and grab those really quickly. And the door's gonna shut on my face again. Okay. Let's go ahead, grab those. Uh, okay, we need displays. Uh, what do we want? Like 10 of them, I guess, is fine. And then we need. What was it? Displays and small steel tubes. Okay. Let's try this. Wait for the door to open. Run through the door. Okay. And back up we go. Alright. So, this elevator is s sort of starting to come along. We'll just go ahead and finish these off. And then we'll take a look at everything that we've accomplished. We haven't finished this top floor here yet, but you can see that it is pretty much starting to come together. Um, at least, you know, for the most part. And then you'll come down here, this is the bottom floor, this is where our giant storage containers are. We may actually add some more stuff in down here. The more I think about it, the more I want to add in some other stuff as well. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. And I just flew straight into my welder ship. Okay, well, if you guys like the video, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys want me to continue videos every single day or if you guys want me to spend more time editing my videos and release them slightly less often. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.